What I expect out of this is a huge measure of inspiration. Museums are fundamentally, if they're nothing else, they're educational institutions. The things that we have here, the STEM learning node, the space shuttle exhibit, and all the other things that are going to be built onto and around it are great, great tools to use in inspiring people to say, look what's been done. Now what can I do? What can I learn? How is my professional life going to be impacted by the exciting things I've seen in this museum? My favorite part of this is the public's ability to look into the crew compartment trainer and get a three-dimensional sense of the scale and function of a real shuttle while we have just the crew compartment trainer as the foundation of this whole thing. It's a huge value added thing for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. When students come through here and their eyes get really big and they see something super awesome and really cool, what's transmitted to them is that, yeah, someone else did this, but you know what? You can too. You can make these contributions in the future. So we hope that gets them excited about their abilities, developing them, and going out and uh, maybe helping the Air Force in the future in uniform or as a civilian to uh, contribute to national defense. This is the flight deck. You can see into the flight deck from the rear bulkhead here, which we've opened up. And here you can see where all space shuttle astronauts learned all the things they had to do for getting in and out of the space shuttle at launch and at landing, and a lot of their on-orbit or in-flight tasks. There's about 2,000 different controls and dials and instruments in there. So they spent hours and hours and hours, countless hours, practicing their jobs here in the crew compartment trainer. Everybody wants to know, how do you go to the bathroom in space? We have the answer right here. You can look right in and see the space bathroom. There it is in the mid deck of the space shuttle. This is the mid deck. The mid deck is where astronauts slept and ate and performed experiments and exercised and also took care of personal hygiene needs. As you can see, it's a pretty small space, but again, the space shuttle was all about its payload and the space for astronauts was relatively small. You can see there's a lot of storage in there and everything comes apart and collapses and gets stored to create more space. And so a lot of activity went on in there and uh, a lot of training was necessary in this space to keep astronauts uh, up on what their jobs were going to be for the next mission. One of the most remarkable things in this exhibit is the Teal Ruby satellite. It's not a mock-up, it's not a copy, it's the real thing. This satellite was meant to test infrared sensors as an early warning system during the Cold War to warn of attacks on the U.S. But the satellite never flew. It never flew because of the first space shuttle accident. It was put into storage. And then over time, its technology was moved on to other platforms. And so we finally got the satellite out of storage and we're able to display it to the public now that it's declassified. I think the most important moving parts in this whole exhibit are the people. Uh, it took every single division in this museum plus our colleagues in contracting and our partners in a couple of different uh, private firms to design this, to define it, to get it here, to work through all the myriad issues about doing something that we'd never done before and making this all happen so that we could open this canvas to the public.